Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's workout. We're gonna get straight into it for this thigh and glutes builder, burner, starting off with the standing donkey kick and the lateral raise. So standing on one leg, you can hold onto a wall if you want to support you, uh, but keeping good posture, ready and go. So you essentially want to keep a slight bend in the leg that is planted on the floor and staying still. Then you want a 90 degree bend in the other leg. You want to lift it up, out to the side, then back towards the center, then back behind you, squeezing the glutes as you go. Making sure that you're keeping good posture. So I'm staying balanced here by pushing my hips back, that slight bend in the knee, the weight is through the heel of the planted foot, and then I'm isolating the leg in the movement. It's the only thing that I want moving. So I want you to really engage your core. So squeeze your core um, to make sure that the lower back isn't like arching and moving about all over the shop. You're doing so well. And relax, well done, great job. Then you can shake it off and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're doing 45 seconds of each movement with 15 seconds rest. Are you ready? Steady, go. Okay, so leg coming out behind you and out to the side, really squeezing the glutes here, really working. You're doing so well, breathing nice and deep. Core is engaged, that leg is the only thing that I want moving, okay? If you need to hold onto a chair, you can pop a chair in front of you. Um, you can pause if you need to just recatch your balance. We're moving with control and intention, really squeezing that glute as you lift out to the side and then back up behind you. Intentional mind to muscle connection, engage the glutes. You're nearly there, just a few more. And relax, well done, smashed it. Then we have some pulsing high knee lunges. So you're gonna be in the lunge position, pulse two, three, and then the knee comes up in front. I want you to lift that knee all the way up and go. So pulse, lift the knee up. So I want you to make sure that you're keeping good form as you do this, so good lunge form. So again, the core is engaged. Now, I go on about the core quite a lot, but it's because it's super important. If you don't engage your core, um, then you're not really controlling the way that your spine is moving. You could lose your balance, and as well, you wouldn't engage the glutes and the muscles as well as you will if you engage your core. So I'm not just saying that for banter, like it's not even funny why we just do that. So <laughs> yeah, just really engage your core. Stepping back into that lunge and bringing that knee high up in front, keeping balanced. Excellent job, you're doing so well. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other leg because you've got to make both cheeks even. Ready? Go. So pulsing, two, three, and lift. Pulse two, three, and lift. In the lunge position, I want you to make sure that as you step back, you're dropping the hips down. So I don't want the knee of uh, the leg that is in front of you when you're in the lunge position. I don't want it going too far forward so that when you look down, the knee is passing the toes. No, that means that you're moving too far forward. What I want you to do is to drop down into that lunge. So you're pulsing with the knee, just hovering just above the ground before you squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs, and lift up for the high knee. You're doing so well. And rest, well done. Shake it off, because we're going back in with Bulgarian split squat. So you want to lift up one leg onto a raised platform, and we're going to drop down into the split squat. Ready and go. Now, when you're setting up for this, I want you to take your time and set up well. So what you don't want to be is so far out in front that um, you've got bad posture. So depending on how flexible you are in your quads, you might want to bring the foot a bit closer to the bench, even closer than I am. And then you just want to drop the body straight down. So the body goes straight down. And when you're at the bottom of that movement, the bottom of that squat, again, I don't want your knee falling too far out in front. 
too far out to the side either way, okay? If your foot is coming too far out in front, then that might mean that you've over uh, stretched it a bit. Um, so yeah, keeping the core and J engaged, lowering down, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the thighs to come back up and relax for a moment before we switch onto the other side. Now, the main thing when doing this exercise um, is that I really want your core engaged, okay? So I don't mind if you feel that stretch in the quad of the leg that's up on the bench and go, as long as it's not messing up your alignment. So you see what I did there where I just held my um, core? What I was doing was just checking my pelvic tilt. So um, I don't want your pelvis to be tipped too far anteriorly. So that's like sticking your booty out behind you. I want your core engaged so that you can really activate the glutes and get all the great results that you're working for. You're getting stronger with every rep. Keep going, you can do it. So again, mind to muscle connection, really intentionally squeezing, because that's how you're gonna get the better results. It's like, it's like you don't wanna just be like super passive, like just going through the motions. Nah, why, why would you do that? You're strong, you can do this, you can do this with intention. Smashed it, well done. Then we're coming down onto the mat for some up, down, squat, jump. So kneeling position, we're gonna lift up one leg, lift up the other leg in the squat position, jump up, take off, land with cushion and go. So with this again, I want you to take your time because I don't want you flying all over the place, okay? So starting off in the kneeling position, you lift one leg up, the other one comes up, staying nice and low, keeping the hips nice and low, so you're in a low squat position. Then squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs as you jump up off the mat, doing a nice explosive squat jump, landing back, bending the knees before coming back down into the kneeling position. I want you to alternate which leg you lift up first each time that you go, okay? So swapping which leg comes up first each time and swapping which leg goes down first because there will be, you know, little bits of difference between which one leads the movement. So we've got to keep both legs even and relax. Great job. Then we're going to lift our feet back up onto the raised platform for some hip raises. Um, so keeping the bottom about the length of your lower leg away from the bench. You've got a nice like 90 degree-ish angle um, at your knees. And then you want to squeeze the glutes and lift the hips all the way up. So when I say all the way up, notice I'm using my hands here. It's kind of like a target slash guide. So I want my, I'm squeezing my glutes so that my hips come all the way up till they touch my fingertips. So I'm getting into a nice straight line from knee through to hip, through to shoulders, as though if someone sat at the top of my knees, they could just slide all the way down like a slide. Um, that wouldn't be great though, it'd have to be a very smooth human anyway. That makes no sense, but I hope it makes some sense because you're doing it. Squeeze those glutes with intention, get maximum force, maximum benefit with this workout. Excellent job, you're doing so well. We're gonna reverse it now. So bringing the upper body up onto the platform, we're gonna do some hip thrusts. So again, aiming for that 90 degree bend uh, at the knee and go. You want to feel whatever it is, whether it's a chair um, or a bench like I'm using, you want to feel it just around about the shoulder blades and I want you to look straight ahead as you squeeze the glutes to lift the hips. So the feet are slightly turned out, just about a hip width, if not a little bit wider apart. Weight through the heels as you squeeze, really engaging all the way through to the top working those glutes. This is such a targeted and effective exercise. You'll feel it in the hamstrings a bit as well, uh, but keep those feet turned out to really target the glutes. You're doing so well, you'll notice the difference. This is such an effective move. And rest, excellent job. And then we are going to finish off today's thigh glute workout with some slow squats. Now I mean slow. Now why are we doing them slow? Ready and go. It is not just because we look good. It is because we're increasing the time under tension. So we're really getting that muscle activation here. So I want you to drop down into a good squat position. My feet are turned out, uh, my hips are back and I slowly lift up. Now as I'm lifting, this isn't passive. This isn't like, you know, some relaxed, <laughs> 
movement. No, I'm squeezing the glutes here and keeping the thighs engaged. So intentionally, you can do it. You can literally intentionally squeeze the glutes and the, and the thighs and you'll feel it more. And we're just moving nice and slow through a good range of movement. I'm not coming all the way up. So I'm keeping that tension going. So I drop the hips down and then I come back up. Weight through the heels so that you can wiggle your toes. Chest stay up as always and relax. You did it. You completed the workout. Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more. And I will see you very soon. Love you so much. Bye. Oh,